we have been working on a series of tutorials and I'm working through this and I didn't want to create something new, but I know that I wouldn't typically put audio on a business card. Yet I'm interested in teaching you how to put audio or music on a file. So if you're working on a presentation, if you're working on um, a video or a story and you want to have music in there, this is how you would do that. There's a music tab and Vista Create has a lot of free music options. Um, so you would pick a category that you think would work well for your business or your presentation and you can sample the music. If it's just not what you want, you can hit that back arrow that you just saw me hit and look for another And um, you can also upload your own music. So under my music, I did hit upload music and selected my guitar file before recording this presentation. So I have my audio file in here and I clicked on it just like I can click on any of these other ones. If I want this audio track in here, I click on it and now I have Silent Night in here. Um, so I want to get rid of Silent Night because I want that other guitar. So I'm clicking on the word Silent Night and I'm going to hit this little trash can down here. And I want my guitar, so my music guitar. And when um, I add that, you can see that it adds, um, it adds a little bit of uh, a, a track down here at the bottom. And I can do something with that. I can search for what I want of the guitar track and hit play. I can make it longer. So if I move my mouse towards, you can see how it changes. I can extend it, make it longer. I can move it in my presentation to where I want it to be. And then once I have this music section where I want it to be, and I didn't listen to it, so I don't know really if this, I can make it loop if I want to and select how many times I want to loop it. Um, or I can make it fade in I can make it fade out, which is a little bit easier on the ear. So if I play it, so it fades in and fades out. Um, and then I can work on other things. So if I click on the text, that track goes away. So to get back to the track for editing, I can click on, it has this little box down here that says the name of the file. And I can, if I click on that, I can come back to editing. I can delete it completely as you saw. So I can I can still make changes to it, but if I start working on other things and I get distracted and adding pictures or different other elements, I need to click back on the name of the file down here in the lower left hand corner in order for me to be able to edit it some more. Then when you're downloading it, you would download as an MP4 because it has audio this time. A GIF file has no sound, but the MP4 has sound. And that is how you would create a presentation or a story maybe. Whatever works that you need to create, it can have audio as well.